crafty friends and welcome to today's stamping September video. Today I'm going to use a circle stamp to create a Christmas tree. If Christmas isn't your thing do stick around to the end of the video because I'll share some non-Christmas cards that I've made with the same techniques and design ideas. So I've got here a card blank, I'm going to work directly on the card blank and I'm going to centre it on my grid here, my glass mat grid, so that I've got a line that runs up the center. Just use a bit of washi to hold it in place like that. And then I'm going to take some more washi and line it up so that it's horizontal. So that should be straight across there. And I'm just going to use this ruler to make a little mark about there so that's the center of my card i'm going to line my washi tape up so that it touches that little dot i made and then drag it down so that it crosses here where this line meets and this is just eyeballing really no measuring involved so now I've got a triangle here which is going to form a Christmas tree. So for my Christmas tree, I've chosen some green blue inks from the Catherine Pula ink collection. I think these are all party ones, the bright ones. We've got Uptown, Aquatini and Minted. I've got a circle stamp here which is a photopolymer so it should pick these up nicely. And I'm just going to stamp these around the inside of my shape, overlapping the washi tape so I get a nice cut off effect which will define the shape. So that will do for minted for now. Now Aquatini. And now some uptown. And now I'm going to bring in a green blue from the spa collection. This is a more muted green blue and I've got a larger circle stamp and I'm going to stamp this around and about there's a subtle circular way to fill in some of the white space and where these inks overlap you'll get a new green blue forming because they're translucent they're dye inks And I think that will do. Now the ink will have soaked in and is starting to dry on the card but it's still wet on the washi tape because the washi has a waxy coating so I need to be really careful when removing the tape not to smudge the ink that's on the tape. To help me with the tape removal I'm going to warm the tape with my hair dryer. That will reduce the chances of ripping the paper and make it a little bit easier to remove. When removing tape, I like to do it slowly and I fold the tape over so it's flat and pull it away from the image. That way, if anything does tear, it won't tear the image, it'll just tear around it and you can normally repair that. Now I'm going to give my tree a trunk. I'm just going to use a little bit of this washi to mask off the bottom of my tree and I've got here a little arrow stamp so I'm going to put the arrow stamp on my block ink it up with sandcastle and stamp it roughly in the middle but with the arrow part over the washi so that will hopefully give me a little trunk which it has I want to add a Merry Christmas sentiment to this so I put my card in my stamp positioner 
And now I've got my bit of gridded acetate and a Merry Christmas stamp, which I'm going to put underneath the tree. About there. And I'm just going to put my head right over so I can get this lined up straight along the grid. So that is about where I want it, I think. I can pick that up using the door. Take off the acetate. Hold the card down with some magnets. And I'll use Memento Tuxedo Black Ink to ink this up. To finish off my card, I have used my tiny star punch to punch some gold glitter stars. I'll dip those in a little bit of high tack glue and add those to my tree. I'll have one at the top and then some more cascading down as if they were fairy lights. As per usual, Somehow I've managed to get green ink or I don't want it. So I've got some of this bleed proof white ink and I'm going to paint it over the little mistakes and hopefully the colour won't bleed through it. Sometimes if you put a white acrylic or a white gel pen over the ink will actually absorb into the white ink that you've put on top and uh, make it look worse. So I'll just try this little Dr. PH Martin's Bleed Proof White and see if that works. So there we have a stamped Christmas tree. You could obviously do shapes other than circles. You could stamp it in stars or leaves. You could use non-traditional tree colours. I think it would look nice in pinks, purples maybe. And you could add little circles instead of stars so they look like baubles. What I'm going to do next off camera is create a few cards using this technique but non-Christmas. So do stick around for a couple more minutes and I will share those with you. Right, I'm back and I've got a few extra cards for you. So for my first one, I used a leaf die to cut a leaf from a piece of masking paper, which I then stuck on there and stamped using leaf shape stamps and autumnal colours within the leaf shape. I then added some gold glitter cardstock leaves for texture. This one, obviously we had stars and I thought some extra leaves would look pretty cool. And instead of stamping directly onto my card, I stamped onto a piece of smooth white card and die cut out my sentiment using a stitched rectangle die, just for an extra bit of something. And there you have a thank you card. So when I die cut the leaf from my masking paper, I obviously stuck the surround onto this one and stamped in the hole. But I thought, what if I take the actual leaf die cut that I cut from masking paper and stick it on my card blank and then stamp around it with all the leaf stamps and add some gold glitter leaves tumbling down. And that's what I did with this one. And I added the thank you bang in the middle because I thought that would be where it would look best. For this next card, I used a cupcake die to cut a cupcake die cut from post-it note. And then I stuck that on the card and then used different size heart stamps and different pinks to stamp on and fill up the shape. I also added a gold heart on top just to bring in that bling and added a let's celebrate. So that could work for any kind of celebration really. Here we have a classic birthday present. So I use washi tape to mask off a square and then use some asterisk stamps and some blue violet inks to fill the hole. I then added a gold glitter bow and a happy birthday. And here we have a graduation card. I used a star die to cut a star shape from some masking paper and then use various size stamps and some blue inks to fill the aperture with blue stars. I added a gold glitter star there in the middle and a to the graduate stamp and I really like the way this one's turned out. And because I die cut a star from masking paper I had the star die cut as well so I stuck that on this card and then stamped all the way around the outside with those star stamps and blue inks. Again I added a gold glitter star in the middle and a well done so that's a, a congratulations card. 
Right, that brings us to the end of this Stamping September video. I hope you've enjoyed it and that it's given you some ideas on ways you can use dyes and inks and stamps that you already have in your stash to create not just Christmas cards, but all sorts of other cards as well. If you have enjoyed the video, please do leave a thumbs up. Let me know in the comments, subscribe, ring the bell, and I'll see you back here very soon. Thanks for watching. Bye for now.